situation here with Ethereum. Um, we have had a perfect bounce <laughs> of this lower OB level. Um, you can see it literally closed just above it and then we opened and closed within it and now we're most likely going to close above it, which is fantastic news for the market. OBV has clearly bounced from support as previously discussed. RSI is now trending into bullish territory on the daily time frame. However, one thing I want to make clear is that Ethereum is a lot closer to a market structure break than Bitcoin. So this here is an MSB. Okay, uh, I'll probably do it to about there. This MSB region. Obviously, the actual <clears throat> market structure break is when we got a break below this four hour close here. So this black line here at about What's that? 3166. That's going to be strong resistance. To be honest, the way I trade them, I would be shorting this. Invalidation would probably be above this group of highs or whatnot. I don't know. To be decided. But then I'll probably be talking in a one to one. Um, only because MSBs, the market structure breaks, like the, the sign of bearishness, etc., etc. Especially if OBV does not break above this level. If it doesn't break this level here, um, this one here, if it doesn't break above, it will be a confirmation of the short on high time frame. Um, if it breaks above it, then I will be immediately out of a short because I would definitely flip my bias to be bullish only because you're breaking a previously strong resistance level. So. That's that on the four hour, but then you go down to the one hour time frame to confirm everything. Always go to lower time frame, see if you have any bullish breaks, bearish breaks, all the breaks. Um, down here we have on OBV. Alley has been pretty interesting. You had a massive fake out there, which is that little peak there, which is pretty depressing. Um, at the moment, you have a trend line here that has been supported. A breakdown here like this is obviously bearish on one hour and then you can expect the four hour to follow then the daily to follow that's how you play those types of breakdowns um you'll save a trend like mm, no that's yeah actually that kind of works out pretty well you got that trend line as well um however as i said watch the hourly basically once price actually enters the msb region up here from there we can see what happens because at the moment it's you we're not at resistance yet there's no trade at the moment the trade would be down this level here um at the msb if we get a retest this is a one hour uh, market structure break so a retest of this level would be a long given that um given that obv is supported still and you haven't lost any major lows um, that would be a nice long. Otherwise, I'm going to be watching this 3150 range for a short if you get it. Um, RSI is bullish on the one hour to be expected because we're in the current uptrend from the down lows. But yeah, just watch lower time frames, see what it tells you first. We, ha we have an idea what's happening on the higher time frame, and then we just use lower time frame for confirmation of which way Mark is going to go. Yep. All right, peace out, peeps.